Hello everybody, this is Earbox, and welcome back to Let's Play Legends of the Minish Cap. In the last episode, we started the Deepwood Shrine. In this episode, well, hopefully we're going to finish it. So yeah, um... So yeah, I'm going to be recording this in the morning. Rather, I'm not, I'm not still a little tired. Ah! Okay, that's gonna be those. Okay, I think we went the wrong way there. That's why I don't like those fluffy clouds. Those, uh, piles of silt. This guy's gonna just pop up out of it. Okay, so... I expect there's not much we can do right now. Just press on. Perhaps we can work at it from another angle later on. Okay, oh. Well. Do that. We need to try to get a compass! Let's find locations of hidden items. Okay, so basically how that works is the compass is always in effect, and when you press the pause button to look at your map, you now see the location of treasure chests, where you are, and the boss. So I guess you always see. I guess you always see yourself, even without that. So yeah. Okay. So let's see here. I guess we'll just go up. Press on into the next room, which has a treasure chest in it. At the very least, it's a hard. Ah, let's get that again. Oh, there's a key. Oh, come on. There we go. We go in here. Here's our first sub boss. Not sure what I said before. Basically, blue hit its face. Ah. Turn this down and just kill it. Turn this down. Get as much as you can. That's about all there is in this boss. Yeah. As you, as you might also tell, the bounces by that Item. Yay! Okay, now. Go ahead and use it. Press Node A and suck up stuff. That means it changes color that it sucks. That means it gets drunk. It's yellow. Yeah. Now, the great thing about it. Grab all this stuff and make you know, sell it out as well. Got ten interior shells. Um, we'll find out what those are used for later. Okay, we'll find out what those are used for later. So, yeah. Yeah, now we can take care of these guys. Now you see when they, even when they die, they spawn there. On the uh, lace of silk down. Okay, so we got another treasure chest. More mysterious shells. Yay! So we just drop this down, and ooh, we got a we got a uh, special item there. Okay, now these guys are. Uh, 
the way to beat this guy normally is just to use the dust jar and turn him away and then use the silly ways. They are pretty easy after that. Okay, so. <sighs> Sorry about that. Sorry about the awning. So we're gonna go down this way. We get a piece of heart! Yeah, two pieces collect, two more to get it. And here's our life energy. Speaking of pieces of heart, anyone who's ever played Twilight, Zelda Twilight Princess, um. If you know, if you ever played, then, then you'll probably know what I'm about to talk about here. Um, the fact that you gotta get five pieces of heart. To uh, no, to get a full heart from I just kind of like blacked out there for a second. I'm sorry, not blacked out, zoned out. As you can tell, this is what it sounds like when you're at one, when you're at one heart container. As you can tell, I kind of, I am really not awake yet. Yeah, we got the mysterious shells again. Those things are pretty rare, or pretty common. Um, what is that? Okay. I'll see you guys later. 